Tokyo Treat Box. The Tokyo Treat. Alexa wanted to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have my knife. Do you need me to grab one? No, I'll get this. Yeah, we might want scissors though. Yeah, we may. There we go. So this is the Valentine's Day one, I think? Valentine's Day. So treat yourself. Tokyo Treat Box. Oh, remember. Part of it supports the Oh yeah. oh yeah, so there's part of this goes to the koalas in um, Australia because Australia. Mm -hmm. there's some koala treats in some koala shaped treats or what? Shaped, just so themed. I think yeah. they're shaped, shaped, themed, something like that. Who scared me for a surprise? Yeah, it does say that. Hmm. Japan Home Point Market. And you have to read it backwards, don't you? Gochi Gang. <laughs> Must be stuff that's in here. Yeah, here's the Koala March. Oh, yep, there's the table of contents. Yep, Koala March. Is it still following you, Alexa? Yep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. There's a drink in here, you said? I think there's supposed to be. So, which box did we get? The Valentine's Day. Well, no. We got the February snack menu. I think we got the drink. I don't see no drink. It says premium. Is it supposed to be a drink? I don't. Unless yeah, this is it. This. That might be. Blendy it. stick. Yeah, I don't see an It's called blendy stick here. <laughs> we got the blendy stick. And, uh. How do you use the blendy stick? Well, let's see what. It's no, I'm yeah. trying to see if it's in English in here. So it says, who, oh, yep, I can't even pronounce, begin to pronounce that. I know, she was on the blendy stick. Hold up. So, it's all in the, you know, Tokyo. It's all in Japanese. Japanese, there you go. Oh, so okay. I'm guessing you just Let's mix it with something. Now we want to know how you use the Tokyo stick. So. No, well, no, it doesn't like really, it just tells you, it gives you a description. Mm. <laughs> Perfect partner to all your Valentine's Day treat. Warm your heart and your hands with this popular Japanese tea. So you should probably have hot water. Yeah. So we're not going to be able to tell you what this is. We're just going to have to go by what it looks like. Strawberry. Well, it tells you in here. Yeah, it tells you anyway. Okay. Well, this one's got koala bears on it. That's the one that's supporting the koalas in Australia. Yeah. So let's see what we got going. I'm thirsty. So they didn't give us nothing to drink, so I'm drinking my water. I did get you water. Well, Ooh, this smells strawberry. For real. real you smell that? Ooh, I like it. That smells I'm, good. I'm excited. Do you want me to put your hot water on? Sure. Let's so try it. Oh, they sure. got little koalas on them. <laughs> little koalas. And they're supposed to be strawberry filled. Filled. <laughs> Not terrible. I like it. Oh, there's strawberry cream in the middle? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I kind of like it. I don't need more than one. We got a lot more stuff to do here. I know. I know. So... Good so far. I like it. And that supports the koalas in Australia. They're cool. from the fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, these are the dragon chips. Dragon chips, wait. Dragon chips. I mean, we probably could have guessed off of the front, but you know. I'm going to start your water. Okay. They say, never judge a book by its cover. With all the sweet this Valentine's Day, we wanted to mix things up with the unique Japanese flavor pairing. The creamy tart, tart, tart. Kale, Parkeo, works great with gentle with the gentle butter. This combo does. Oh, this combo is not to be underestimated. Okay, I was not expecting the taste, but it's not terrible. Oh, it reminds, uh, yeah, I did the same thing. It's not that bad. Jerry said, "Don't smell it." Yeah, don't smell. Yeah, it, it reminds me of pop puff corn. Puff corn. Like puff corn. Yeah. Okay, so I got the hot water going. Mm -hmm. So you can try the tea. Alright. 
Yeah, they don't taste bad. They just they smell, smell awful. awful. Yeah. Caramel corn here. Mm-hmm. Caramel corn. I mean. So, Hato Hato Caramel Corn is one of Japan's most well-known snacks. Walking the line between fluffy and crunchy, good. the sweet treat will melt in your mouth. The combo of milk and caramel paste gives it a gentle taste. Sounds like a squad movie night snack to us. Squad movie. Mm -hmm. And? Not bad. I don't hate it. I kind of like them. I kind of like these. <laughs> yeah, Marshmallow actually. hearts. So far, this is going better than the other box. None of this is from that place where they're getting the carnivorous virus, right? No. That's China. This is Japan. I mean, we done opened all that. So. Yeah. So these are the just normal parts. Strawberry, Stro strawberry flavor, but basically just you know normal marshmallows. Would they taste good in hot cocoa. Yeah, they would. Hey, maybe they go with this blendy. No. I doubt it. No. That looks that, like that's coffee. a tea. That looks like it looks like coffee. They said something about caramel flavor, so. Don't need to make hot cocoa now. Alright. Those marshmallows are marshmallows. Those are pretty good. Yep. I don't really taste strawberry, it just tastes marshmallows. marshmallows. Those look like Tic Tacs. Alright. We got some kind of candy here. Strawberry choco balls. So the chocolate covered strawberry ball? No. These strawberry choco balls prove that the best things do come in small packages. Their light texture makes them a very popular chocolate snack. Sweet mm -hmm. light and chocolate. They'll remind you of happy times with friends. Loki definitely can't have. Oh, whoa. Mm -hmm. I guess take your pick. Mm -hmm. Give me some. Alexa's well, like, I don't like that many. Yeah. Mm. Huh? It tastes like something else. Like a crispy corn. I don't like, like it. A, uh, crispy bar kind of thing, but not good. Mm -mm. I didn't think it was terrible. Almost like a chocolate rice crispy. That, but yeah, it's not a good thin. one. I don't think it's terrible. Well, there you go. She likes it. Well, that is the chocolate choco bat. This light snack is surely a home run. This long treat is a sweet and crunchy breadstick with a thick, sweet chocolate coating. Baseball is a popular sport here in Japan, and this chocolate choco bat will make you want to take all of your friends out to a ball game. <laughs> the funny thing is, I was actually about to comment that because I learned in my modern Japanese history class. It was broken in half, there. obviously, but. There's what the middle looks like. She says that they are baseball crazy. Looks like a breadstick covered in chocolate. That's what it said. It was so. And. Mm. Kind of strange, but yeah. not bad. It, it kind of has the texture of like an old donut. It does. It's like one of those donuts you buy, like the <laughs> chocolate covered one, that's right. been sitting for a week. You're right. <laughs> mm hmm. So. Donut. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good either. Alright, this looks like a, um, one of those, um... That one? Strawberry soft serve? Soft service. Or yeah, serve. yeah. Uh, I can't think of what they're called. They're like the puff ice cream cones. Oh. The ultimate oh. winner dilemma. You want to grab an ice cream with your friends, but it's too chilly. Well, this icy treat is here to help. Smells really good. This tricky treat is topped with fluff marshmallow with sweet strawberry center and has a crunchy cone base. Look, I'm just gonna make a statement and say it is never too cold for ice cream. Try something in the middle. That looks like a peep on the top. Or is it just me? What well, it says it's strawberry. Yeah. Oh. That's definitely a peep. <laughs> <laughs> it does taste like a peep. That's a peep. <laughs> oh, well, let's try it. <laughs> I don't like it. I didn't think it was terrible. Not I just, terrible. It's not bad like tasting, it's just I don't really... You don't like peeps. Yeah, I don't like peeps, so... And strawberries, it'd be for you. Yeah, so far this is all good though. Caplico? What does it look like? Oh. It almost looks like Neapolitan hearts. Caplico strawberry chocolate hearts. 
When you want a classic flavor combo to express your love and appreciation, you can't beat sweet strawberry and rich chocolate combo. <laughs> the Caplico strawberry and chocolate hearts are held close to many Japanese people's hearts. Oh, no. Looks like no. They look like a pill dispenser. A little bit. So ways I have to hold one up for the camera. Yeah. So it's a little half chocolate, half strawberry. Oh look, it's got a little heart on the chocolate. Mmm. Right. That's pretty good. Mmm. I got strong opinions one way or the other. So far this box is doing better than that other box. <laughs> then again, it didn't take much. I kind of like some of the stuff in the other box. I gotta pull this one out. Because this just looks strange. Strawberry Kit Kat! Strawberry Daifuku Kit Kats. Daifuku! <laughs> I don't even know. I'm pretty sure I didn't pronounce that right. I hope I didn't insult Sorry. anyone. Will you share a strawberry Daifuku Kit Kat with us? This crunchy snack is made for sharing with special friends. The sweet Azuki red bean and strawberry Azuki. flavored red bean. <laughs> strawberry flavor create a uniquely Japanese flavor. And they come in pairs. They really give all other snacks hashtag squad goals. Squad goals. Nope. Here you want to eat? I've already said I'll break it in another half. Interesting. It doesn't taste like. I don't taste the strawberry. I did. I did. But mm -hmm. the strawberry doesn't taste. Like hey, hey, hey! You don't like white chocolate, though. I don't like that. I did. <laughs> I don't or know why, but it tastes like a weird, like, a, the da fuku. The <laughs> da fuku. Or the raspberry or whatever it was. Red bean. So, mm. I was going to say, can you, like, read a thing on the... No, nah, it's all Japanese. Well, no, I was going to say, like, is even just a guess for, like, how much water they recommend? I would guess a cup. I mean, it shows a mug, so a mug full, three quarters maybe. Yeah. Leave room for water, cold water. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I ain't leading that. Yeah. Oh, look, not good. Uh, that leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Mm. Honey I and apple gummy. Oh, Honey and nice. apple gummy. That sounds pretty good. It does sound good. Love it. He said this up front. He said the mug down. I, I, I stole your mug. Not a fan of them kids. Hey, I stole your mug. You're Batman. So these, oh, I think, are going to be good. Smells like tea, Wade. Yeah. The honey apple. Everyone likes a surprise during Valentine's Day. The Whoa! Sweet honey and apple flavors of the pure gummy make a delicious winter duo. But get ready for a little sour burst from the sour sugar coating. <laughs> the sweet and sour balance eat each other perfectly. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> wow, that's strong. <laughs> you okay there? Mm -hmm. This looks like coffee. This straight up looks like coffee. That is strong. Oh, it's like good though. They're like Sour Patch Kids. It's good, but I think it's stronger. So more like a Warhead, you think? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would think so. That's, Those are good. That's help me. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just fart? Oh, we come over here and toot it and roll. <laughs> no, he laid down and it scared him, so he ran. <laughs> so this looks like a strawberry Swiss roll. Really? Where's Uncle Pierre's roll cake? That's exactly what that says right there. <laughs> Nobody shares love better than family. Uncle Pierre's mini mm. roll cake makes a sweet and sour flavor mm. with its tasty strawberry really cream like filling. Those are good. All well, wrapped in soft them. and spongy cake. Maybe this snack oh. is too good to share. It's so cute. <laughs> so tiny. Kind of looks like an egg roll. Touch. It smells good. Actually, it kind of looks like just a mini pumpkin roll.
And? It reminds me of something. Oh, Swiss uh, roll? <laughs> mm. Reminds me of strawberry shortcake, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Eh. Not bad. Uh, you know you can add water to do it too. Or an ice cube. Yeah. So you don't burn your mouth. Mm-hmm. Probably don't want to add too much. It's supposed to be hot. I know. All right. That looks scary. Choco Bar. Japan. That's all I can read. 25, 25th anniversary of this Choco Bar. You ready? Let's hear it. Black Thunder. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the ultimate Valentine's cookie. The bitterness of rich cocoa battles the sweet chocolate topping to create a crunchy cookie harmony. Whoever eats this tasty treat will surely be left with a powerful impression. <laughs> so that says Black Thunder right there, huh? Uh, sure, that's what it says. <laughs> also, the name of a guy in prison when you first go there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. That's a little too chocolatey for me. I can tell you right now. Right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't like Oreos. Ah. Uh, Nice. And it's pretty much got Oreo cookie in the middle. So it's cookie and cream without the cream? Pretty much so. I kind of like it. This next thing looks like a strawberry zebra cake. Yes, we just eat it. Mm -hmm. It's called strawberry milk and cream cake. This, this one is for the sweet tooth friend. You want to show some love to this Palantine's? The milky and sweet flavor of the strawberry cream is sandwiched between two sponge, spongy cake layers. This mini cake is a delicious treat that is hard to put down. I'm telling you, it's just like a zebra cake with strawberry. Funny thing is, it looks like a Swiss roll. Mm -hmm. Or, no, what? there's another one that has the little drizzle on top. That's rolled. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, so, dried out. Did you like to try the tea, Wade? Oh, thank you. Wade doesn't do tea. Mm -hmm. Did you try it? Not yet. Got to. I'm not a fan of these spongy type things here. Mm. I'll pick up another one. Bubby? Bubby! Bubby Choco Stick. Bubby Choco Stick. Yeah, it doesn't look good. With all these interesting combinations, sometimes we just need something simple. Shimi? Coco is a classic Japanese childhood favorite. Made of corn and very light and delicate crunch. It's simply chocolatey goodness will bring you back to the good old days. So, gonna have you smell this. Are you gonna try it? it? Smells like tea. Reminds me of a sugar wafer. Yeah. It looks like a churro. It reminded me of a sugar wafer, so. Without, yeah, without right. the frosting in the middle? Yeah, well, you kind of taste it. It's not bad. It is a sugar wafer. Yeah. It's got a little bit of something in the middle there. It gives you a little bit of the kind of cream kind of feeling. Oh, oh, the tea's terrible. I can't really describe it because I... I can't really have one. Maybe, like, I don't know if it would be better with, like, sweetness. I think it needs sweet or something. Like, All right, these look like vegetable chips. Ooh, yummy. Tastes like just tea. Like so, it. looks like tomatoes, carrots, and peppers. They're called veggie hearts, and we found the perfect heart-shaped snack mm -hmm. to give you a little break from the Valentine's sweets. A veggie snack that are super popular in Japan. Yeah, Benji, shrub, yeah. Um, are filled with five different types of veggies. And come in three fun colors. Perfect for some some me time. Oh. I feel like I'm probably gonna end up liking these and munch bashing them. Alexa likes the veggie chips though. Okay, so I'm gonna get one of each. There's three colors here. We have a yellow, an orange, and a green. 
You know, what's really sad is it says the green can be two different flavors. The orange can be two different flavors. Mm -hmm. I like them. Mm. Uh, they I like, like them. Are they like your veggie things? I think my veggie ones are slightly like thicker, denser. They taste like a rice cake, like a veggie rice cake. I like it. They, they remind me of a rice cake, like the old school. Diet stuff your mom yeah, used to eat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One more thing. Looks cheesy. It's got a cow on it. Bam! AJI. How would you pronounce that? AJI? Mm -hmm. Aji? Aji cheese chips. Crunchy, cheesy, and light. They smell all awful. these Aji cheese it. chips are here for all the lovers. For all the lovers. And cheese lovers. These crunchy snacks are. A favorite for cheese fans in Japan. Mm. What is that? That's a... I, I know what the... It resembles something. I, say it, I feel like it's like a stale version of something. Nope. Reminds me of the shrimp things. Like, you throw them in the water and they poof up. I think they're called shrimp chips. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. That's what they remind me of. Mm. I like them. Mm. Me, I could take them or leave them. <laughs> As I munch on them some more. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the end of the Tokyo treat box. Mm -hmm. We're not sponsored. No. We're just, um. Having some fun. Hello. Hello? It's on Jennifer now. <laughs> we look too much alike. So we're not sponsored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that's the video. Mm -hmm. Hopefully too much of it didn't get messed up. Tokyo tree. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Your phone got confused. Yeah, I was like, hold on, who are they? <laughs> they look like twins, I guess. <laughs>